So hello everyone we welcome you to the next podcast of our podcast series under the guidance of Center for E-learning at MIT Jaipur myself Devyansh Bhatt from the podcaster section and today we have with us Mr Vishal Gupta boss so hello boss can you please tell our viewers more about yourself hey yeah sure Devyansh hi everyone i am Vishal Gupta currently working as an S3 to L at Amazon based out of Bangalore i have total 4 year of working experience I completed my graduation in computer science from MIT Jaipur in 2018. I belongs to a town named Karhal which is near Gwalior in Madhya Pradesh. Yeah, that's briefly about me. Very nice. So boss, uh, may I know how were your initial days in college like uh, we cracked JE examination getting such a reputed college like MIT and uh, when we enter the college we have our own fears. our own complexions like uh, kuch introvert hote hain kuch extrovert hote hain to aap apne bare mein kuch bataiye ki aapke initial days kaise rahe the college mein yeah yeah sure sure so before answering that i would like to tell you this that choosing computer science was not like something out of passion i chose this branch because i got to know from multiple people that if you get into this branch and you once you pass out of the college definitely you will be getting a good job so that was the reason i chose this branch and if i talk about my computer background before college i did not even i was not even good at typing so i learned typing in college i started with html css in my first se- semester then did wit of c in second semester because we had that as a subject but i could not do good there i got c grade in that and uh, but my actual coding journey started from my second year i had a friend i have him now also his his name is jitendra he he guided me coached me and uh, helped me to start with competitive coding as well he suggested me that i should do competitive coding on course share code forces and that's how my competitive journey began and yeah like i learned then python which was a subject in fourth semester and that's how the coding i got into coding yeah that's very nice of you boss so may i know what platforms you used for your coding practices yeah as i mentioned i was mostly using code code chef for competitive programming but to practice for internship or for the placements i mostly use gigs for gigs and bit of interview bits uh, yeah there are multiple platforms now which provide very nice uh, structured way of practicing and uh, yeah like you guys can explore that i can send you those link later but yeah what i use was geeks for geeks mo- mostly yeah okay so boss you told us about the external factors like for encouragement regarding certain activity we have two aspects the internal factors which are pushing you towards something and the external factors which are also pushing you towards the same thing so you talked about your colleague uh we can consider it as an external factor so what were your internal factors like you had that zeal and enthusiasm and from where did you gather all the info uh so uh, as i said like i had a friend who guided me coached me to do get into the coding and then internally i was also like if i won't study if i won't do coding how would i be able to clear the exams right the aptitude test and all so that was an internal factors and uh, yeah i tried for internship there were like i got into internship in carwale and that was the 10th company company in our college so i yeah something i wanted to mention yeah. so the internal factor mostly mostly was to get a job definitely everyone wants to get a job so that was something driving me to learn coding uh, i won't say it's my passion but since i was in computer science i was supposed to learn it and that's how you i i could only get a job so yeah that's why i learned it and did all but okay. definitely there was a factor which was like i started doing competitive programming on code code chat so we all people in in college we used to uh, compete there so definitely that was a driving force like yeah, i i should practice more coding so that i can be- get better rank there so that was one of the factor yeah so very nice of you boss so did you joined any club in college 
I did not really join any uh, coding club as such. I was part of uh, spiritual club once, uh, and that too I left later. Uh, but I did participate in couple of coding uh, uh, like competition we had in our colleges. Yeah, college. So yeah. Oh, good, good boss. So that has paved the way for my next question. So I wanted to know your opinion that does joining these club hinder your progress? No, I won't say that hinders your progress. It actually enhances, or uh, yeah, it basically uh, makes you uh, do more practice, more coding. So that if it if it's a coding club, definitely you will be learning coding, learning more about technology, so that you can bring th- that knowledge in your club, help people in your club, and make take multiple initiatives to help college people, like conduct coding competitions. So. if you are if you want to do that you definitely need to know coding right so it basically it does not hinder at all it 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 stimulates your coding uh, it basically enhances you to do more coding in yeah so i would say that so actually boss ye to keval coding clubs ki baat hui kai bacche hote hain jo extra co curricular activities wale clubs bhi join karte hain like we had in our college the drama club and all so basically i wanted to ask the question for them so does joining these clubs would hinder your progress i won't say that it's up to you like how do you manage your time right or okay, if you are giving like considered amount of time to your coding practice and uh, yeah learning your subjects properly and even if you are not from cs or uh, ec branch and still you are doing some coding practice for one hour a day or Five hours a week, it should be sufficient for you to crack any interview exam, yeah, and with proper guidance and all that. Yeah. So I won't say yes, any yes. club hinders your progress. Clubs definitely bring some uh, team many skills to you that you learn in the clubs only. So it's a good thing to join a club, I would say. So basically, it depends on time management. Definitely yeah, time management, yes sir. Okay, boss. So can you please tell us more about your path to your internship in Carvale? and uh, like how did you prepared and went for it yeah as i mentioned so for internship i knew that companies are going to come once we get into third year so companies generally come comes in month of Jan- uh, july and august and carwale came in month of august and uh, so from my after my second year in that summer break i started preparing on geeks for geeks i also did some coding questions on uh, code chef there were like competitions going on so i participated in those and uh, did uh, data structure label practice like i pre- practice for array trees linked list all those data structures we have right so i practice for them and that's how uh, and i also did one couple of projects individual proje- projects and some with my friends uh, during my second year and in the summer break so that also helped me to get into carwale actually that was the reason uh, the interviewer selected me because i work i created a web ranking tool in java so they saw something in me and that's how they selected uh, me for the internship and uh, yeah that means you practiced a lot for it not much but yeah sufficient enough to get into the company yeah okay 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 So boss you got your first job at Fidelity Investment but uh, you left it for a way better company like Amazon so what was the procedure of joining Amazon yeah so uh, i would say like i was there in fidelity back of my mind i was sure that i have to move into a bigger mnc to get better pay to learn more to grow more definitely right so fidelity i spent around a year i did some work there in uh, front end back end both i i was trained for up for four months of period and then we were put into different teams and there we were given projects so i was working on front end and back end both and then i i was i wanted to join any of these big companies i like goldman d shaw uh go amazon and uh, i tried multiple times and yeah so how did i manage if you want to know that i i was practicing coding like i uh, i i i was continuously in touch with my friends who were in the, these companies like asking them how to like asking them for the referrals they were giving me referrals i was practicing the coding and yeah and giving the interviews for some companies i was rejected and finally i got into amazon and this was my fourth attempt into amazon 
first attempt when i uh, when company came for internship i couldn't make it then second for placements that time also i couldn't make it then i tried once again in december 2019 2018 i couldn't make it finally i got into amazon in uh, 2019 uh, july so yeah so that shows what a struggler you are was yeah definitely so, you have to keep uh, trying you have to you don't i was there was a phase in my life where i was like amazon is not meant for me i can't get into it so you will come to the, those phases also but you have to keep going keep moving you should be in connection connection with your friends to keep they they will keep you motiv- motivating and uh, yeah you have to keep moving basically you have to keep trying uh, one or the other day you will get into it whatever you are looking for so that's the way to it yeah sorry you were saying something these are the golden words from you boss so how is the work life at amazon it's again up to you and it varies from team to team so i have worked on in couple of teams and it's been good for me you just need to work for 8 hours or sometimes when there are, there are launches to be done you might need to scratch a bit but yeah like it's up to you mostly like if you are not working in working day working hours then you have to work on weekends if you are working in working hours you are putting in right amount of uh, uh, if you have like uh, if you are basically uh, if you something is new to you then you definitely need to learn about it right so you need to do that then something is uh, a new and uh, then you need to collaborate also with the team members in the uh, right so to to uh, to unblock you to uh, make you understand about the systems and uh, that's how you will manage to deliver your results within the time otherwise you have to stretch initially you might need to stretch because you are new to the system you don't know but even amazon doesn't expect much from you like initially they will give you a buddy who will mentor you throughout at least for couple of months and you will be given very small small tasks to work on once you are good at it once you have got the fluency then only they will be putting you in a big big project so that's how you you won't have to like stretch much or uh, like get imbalance into life well uh, work life so yeah it's a it's up to the person who is uh, like how person is handling it so sometimes i yeah. if i don't work on weekdays like due to some reasons i might have to work on weekends and that's because i want to do it not like my manager or my team is asking me to work on weekends yeah. so yeah, that that's something i wanted to say so basically you are trying to say ki procrastination ka habit chhod dena chahiye definitely like if uh, you have to do the work in the given time you have like working hours if you are doing that then that's sufficient yeah you... that's sufficient okay so what are your plans for the future i would like to continue to work it work at amazon like will continue grow in the current role then we'll look for the promotions and uh, yeah later on i might mm, change it to man- manager line where like i can i would like to become a manager but not now like later in future yeah so amazon has this uh, good uh, system where in, wherein like you can either continue to be a developer or you can move into a manager line so yeah okay okay so boss i must say that you have a very well structured mindset and with the proper strategy you prepared for everything so it was very very nice meeting you boss thank you so much boss thank you so much